The first thing that happens to this person when he is on his deathbed, his family are sitting all around him. The angel of death descends upon this person. You are surrounded by your family, but you feel so alone because only you can see these angels and you are trying to say to your family help me help me but they can't help you and then he says oh evil soul come out to the anger of Allah and his punishment you're in your grave and you can hear your family's footsteps as they leave you but do you have anywhere to run do you have anywhere to hide do you have anything that you can protect yourself with the fire of Jahannam, it enters into his grave. And his grave, it squeezes him so tight until his ribs begin to close up on one another. The coming of hellfire. And hellfire, brothers and sisters, is not a pit. It is a roaring, raging beast that is held down by 70,000 chains. Holding each chain is 70,000 angels. There is no scene more terrifying on the Day of Judgment than that scene. Every creation of Allah, martyrs, prophets, believers, non-believers, they will fall to their knees. All they are saying is, Oh Allah, protect us. Oh Allah, protect us. And the hellfire is a place of the most extreme suffering, the most extreme pain of every level that you can imagine. Physical, mental, spiritual pain and suffering and torment. The people will cry in agony for water. They will cry for a drink, something to cool them. And they will be given a water. They will be given a drink, but it is a boiling water. They will scald their faces and burn their insides. This is the hellfire. The guardian of hellfire, his name is Malik. He has never smiled since the day hellfire was created. He has no remorse. He has no feelings of sensitivity. He is desensitized to all types of horror. No feelings. Doesn't feel sorry for anyone. Hellfire, ya akhwan, is something, wallahi, not to be taken lightly saying, oh, our Lord, please take us out. Take us out and let us try again. Give us another chance. If we do this again, then we are truly oppressors to ourselves. And Allah doesn't even reply to them. Allah doesn't speak to them. So some people have false hope. God will forgive me. God will forgive me. You're sick. You're ill. You need to cure yourself. God cannot be fooled. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm-hmm.